Hello and welcome to episode 11 of our Abdel Ludum campaign. In the last episode, we vassalized Abdel Tungur here and we uh, reconquested some land for them. Well, actually just one province was reconquest and the rest of it we just took straight up off of Ordia. Uh, they were a little busy in the League War, so it was pretty easy. Just kind of rolled over them and uh, that was kind of that. Uh, so we now have this vassal that we will continue to feed all of this area out here as I want to try and stay in the mountains, ally to our north, ally to our south, ally to our north in the mountains, and then we hold the southern pass here into these mountains. We are completely protected by our friends, which is very good. Uh, today's episode, we are uh, we're getting very close to a, another disaster here. Once we hit 150 income, it will start to tick up. Uh, which is, I mean, that's fine. It's it's not the end of the world. It's going to happen no matter what I do. So I might as well just embrace it. Uh, and that means that I should also be building some sweet, sweet manufacturing. Now, I just thought I was building a dye manufacturing. Where do I have dyes? In this cave. No, that's mushrooms. In this cave. Huh. I didn't even know that you could get dye in caves. The more you know, the more you know. <clears throat> uh, okay, so for our mission tree here, we need to get rid of all orcs. Uh, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, what do I need in order to do that decision? Uh, slaughter the orcs. So manpower, provinces, serpent tree. I need at least ten regiments present. All right, well let's get these guys in here, and we can deal with the orcs rather quickly. Uh, Sirenvar is coming coming into the war against Sala. Hey, Lynn, I will absolutely be answering that call. Um, and Istralor isn't even going to join because they're busy and fully occupied. So we'll let our ally here seize them down. And then we just have to figure out a way for Sirenvar to annex these guys. The reason I can't click the uh, decision here is because if we enforce unity, Sirenvar has to have at least 20,000 manpower or manpower at least 30%. They're at zero. So, yeah, it's just going to take time. I can convert provinces to ancestor worship. Um, do we want to get rid of harpies? That's the question. Do we want to get rid of them? Because I could very easily just accept harpy culture right now. You know what? We'll just accept them. They're outside of the Dwarvar. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. And then we will convert them over to ancestor worship, which is kind of weird. Sure. But eh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, learnings of an elder. Let's go ahead and get some more probably diplo points for a five four six We are taking actually we'll go for the admin We're taking innovative ideas There we go for annexation or full annexation. Sorry That is good uh, Go ahead and slaughter the orcs. There we go perfect Any own province uh, Is not a city. So yeah, I, I should have gotten rid of the orcs around me earlier that would have been very beneficial in fact i think we can do it here let's send our army over there we go there's our other army i was wondering where they were i was like i'm pretty sure we have two armies pretty sure uh wait a second oh i mean controlled by me promise it's an orcish majority is this a goblin majority yeah it's a goblin majority all right well let me just get rid of orcs the old-fashioned way i suppose that works too that works too all right, uh, let's start to drill with our troops. I think that's a good use of our time. Uh, not be too bad of an idea to get some professionalism going, recover some manpower, and uh, make some money. We're four crowns away. Four crowns away. Uh, again, I need to also con colonize that. I believe Siren Bar needs that. Uh, other than getting rid of the orcs, Around United, I have to make sure there are no other independent Wood Elves. Uh, there has to be no Orcs under the mountain. That's all that I'm waiting for at this point. Uh, but I can start building up Glogan Cave and Verkul Skomdir, which is going to be necessary. So they both need a marketplace, which is odd, to say the least. Glogan Cave needs a marketplace and a castle. Uh, okay, well, we're going to have to develop this then. Um, it's going to be very expensive, but oh well. Go ahead and throw a marketplace down here. That's weird they have me build that since there is no center of trade, but I understand. It's more like lore, lore base. Uh, and this is already done, I believe. 
Uh, oh, and a center of trade level three. Gotcha. So I have to upgrade this to a trade level three. Uh, well, I'm not going to waste my money on that right now because uh, we'll probably go in bankrupt soon and that would be a waste of my points as they're going to be downgraded when we do go bankrupt. Bavaria has the Peasant's War. That's fine. I don't think I have a CB on them. I do not. Uh, they call it Harpy Love. Recently, a local official has fallen in love with a local Harpy. Fortunately, since we have managed to find a permanent modus vivendi with them, this is merely a subject of interest for the people of Abdel Ludum, and a significant part of our people wants the two to go all the way together. However, there is a legitimate concern that if this is not stopped, this could lead to harpies getting an undesirably higher degree of influence in the country. We are the people of love. That's fine. I'm happy for them. Good for them. All right. And it's time. Horde curse time. So that is going to fire very soon. 6% per month. Yeah. Alrighty, <laughs> time for Dwarven Disaster number two. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dwarves always be in disasters. That's just what they do. Wow, they signed religious peace in the Empire. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let's take out uh, a bunch of loans. Like probably max loans. There we go, just give me a bunch of stuff here. As long as I don't go negative. Okay, perfect. How many more loans could I take? Uh, I can have up to 140 loans. I have 38, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, with this, I want to build a bunch of buildings. All right, there we go. Build all of those up. Build you. Build you, get some more of those built, that's fine. Build some of you as well, okay, awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm just doing this because we are gonna go bankrupt. So in five years from now, so in 1585, uh, I can go bankrupt, but not before then, not before then. This is still rising, right? Uh, yeah, plus 11 each month. <laughs> uh, nobles, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we'll go ahead. We'll go to the merchant guilds. And we will also go indebted to them. Get those loans. Because we're going to need the money. Let's go ahead and revoke titles while we can. Get some more crown land. I was going to sell. But I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, we won't worry about converting that right now. Bigger problems. Much, much bigger problems. General Varus has died. Let's hire a new one. Nice, 4362, beautiful, that's really good. Really, really good. The command is equal amongst men, and it's time for the Horde Curse. Corruption and greed dominate our country. Within our holds, every bank, every business, every dwarf is plagued by this evil, unable to perceive the world other than through money. It would seem that a vice has hidden in plain sight within the most repressed aspects of dwarf nature is now spreading across the country like rust through a sword. There is no question of morals, values, or charity. Only riches, and everything seems acceptable to our citizens to achieve their desires, even to kill their fellows for a single coin. The Horde Curse is upon us. Okay, so this is one of the... Uh, oh my god, my interest is so bad. Wow, I did not realize interest was going to get that bad. Um, oh well, I'll go ahead and sell titles then. Okay, so Horde Curse. We have to reform our country quite a bit here. And the way we're going to do that is through these one, two, three, four, five decisions. Uh, and the first one we're going to do is we are going to crack down on corrupt officials. Corrupt officials use their positions to amass both power and gold. It has to stop. Let's do this. So at the very highest of those afflicted with the Horde Curse are bureaucrats and officials of our great nation. It is clear they have used their position to skim every bit of coin they could during their many years of service. Until now. We must absolutely cleanse our government of all traces of corruption in order to protect the country's integrity. The question remains, how do we go about it? So we can go meticulous inspections for 1600 crowns, arrest on proof for 1600 crowns, or we kill on suspicion. We lose a stability and we lose money, but we're going to kill on suspicion. The way to get through the Horde Curse. You just embrace the Horde Curse. All right, don't try and, and sneak around it or anything like that. You just have to do it. You just have to go through the Horde Curse as painfully as possible, <laughs> unfortunately. 
There is no other way. You're gonna have rebels. You're gonna have issues. It's fine. Go ahead and get another possible advisor as well. Uh, also, we need to fire advisors. I forgot. Advisors cost way more money during the Holy Curse. You do not want advisors. Uh, also, we do not want to be paying down corruption at all. That's fine. Uh, the Abdel Ludum Incident. The vehemence of our agents to purge any corruption within the government has provoked some excess. A simple arrest quickly spiraled into a skirmish, and then a brawl, causing many deaths among the suspects. The enemies of the victims demand reparations, obviously in one and only form. Uh, very well, pay them, or surely this shall only breed more corruption. It will only breed more corruption. We shall not pay them a single dime. Not one silver piece. No, no. We shall not. Also, we need to go help out our vassal, apparently. Fine, we don't have any problems of our own or anything. Alright, move back here. All will be good. All will be good. Alright, truce with Jadari's up. Uh, cool. Hopefully they don't attack our ally right now. Uh, successful bureaucracy. Uh, now is not the time to spend money. Now is not the time to spend money. We to need every money we've got here. Conclave of Magi. Uh, sure, you can gain influence. And corrupt officials removed. After months of investigation and repression, we finally have cleared the majority of the corrupt horde curse elements in our government. Good job. So we lose money. Uh, that's fine. Move back up here. And then we should get a decision pop up here in a month or two to end the uh, corrupt officials officially. Officially end the corrupt officials. Meanwhile, we are bleeding money, but that's okay. Again, we're going to go bankrupt. It's just the way it's going to be. I should have taken more loans out, though. Yeah, I should have taken more out. We can debase currency uh, momentarily. So laws and corruption reform. Transparency in all forms of government is held with the utmost of importance. An independent tribunal will be responsible for guaranteeing fairness in the purge of corrupt elements lawfully and justly. So we'll lose 1,000 crowds, 150 admin power. We will lose 15 corruption. And... We will gain corrupt government reforms, giving us plus 75% national tax, minus 75% advisor cost, and minus 2.5 yearly corruption. So before we do that, we are going to uh, debase the currency here a couple of times until we have 14 corruption. And then we will click the decision. There we go. Now all that corruption we just took is gone, and that's a little bit more money that we have to work with. Um, up next, I think that we need to overhaul the banks, right? I think it's overhaul the banks we have to do secondly. There is a way to do this, like, most efficiently. Um, and the corruption is definitely number one. And I believe the second one is overhauling the banks. So let's do that. Uh, the banks handle most of our coin and as such hoard the most of it. Uh, the banks are no doubt the biggest hoarders of gold of them all, all under the pretense of holding it for safekeeping. If we want to ensure the sustainability of our economy in the years to come, we must make sure that our banks stay healthy and keep their heads cool. We could directly bring the private banks under our control and stabilize the systems from within. Or we could force the banks to collect on their debts, essentially reducing the amount of gold hoarded by the individuals of our country. Nationalize them or force them to collect debt. We're going to force them to collect debt. This is, this is probably going to cause some rebels to spawn. Uh, for whatever reason, people are not huge fans of uh, you forcibly coming to take money from them. Kind of weird, I know. I know. I would think it normal. Um, but for these guys, apparently not. Also, uh, we have to wait for all these buildings to be done. Then it's five years. I made that mistake earlier. I'm sure someone pointed out in the comments. It's fine. It's fine. We have to wait until this is done. Then we can go bankrupt five years after these are finished. For Sergeant Chess has announced me as a rival. That's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, can I rival you back? Yep. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hello. Uh, let's go ahead and throw down an embargo on you. Make us a little bit more money. Less trade will flow out. Uh, dwarves take to the streets. The pressure we put on our banks to ensure that they quickly collect their dues has been passed on to all their contractors. As we could have foretold, our citizens are vastly overprotective of their gold and as such have risen up in arms. Not because they cannot pay, but because they simply do not want to. We can pay some of their debt to encourage fairness, or we'll deal with them by force. Well, I don't want to go bankrupt yet, so we'll deal with them by force. Look, people, the government demands this of you, and uh, we're not taking no for an answer. So get in line and uh, start handing over your money. 
Give me all your money. Uh, this is what general do we have here? The 1151. Well, that's definitely not a good general. Um, let's hire a different guy. Okay, a couple of guys. Apparently, we just can't get a solid general. You go do with them. There we go. Perfect. You go. You guys can go that way. And nice. Our uh, hold has actually dug to the next level, which is really good, because uh, it will prevent. It will stop the hold from digging, I believe, if you go bankrupt. I believe that's what happens, which would obviously not be a good thing. <laughs> very clearly a bad thing for us. Very, very clearly a bad thing. Okay, move into these guys. Just put these peasants down, put them in their place. They need to know that uh, they cannot just rise up whenever they are mad. They must give us their gold. Not because we're greedy. No, 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 we would never be greedy. We are simply doing what is right, what is correct. All right, they will, they will learn to understand this. They will learn. Uh, okay. Well, there's no point in uh, colonizing more because they're not going to finish by the time we go bankrupt, and then our colonies will disappear. So, we'll just hold off on colonizing for now. For now. Go take all of them out. Take all of them out. Take all of them out, and finally take all of them out. You move over to uh, Abdul Latam, I guess. Goblin minority dwindles, okay. Fine. Uh, learnings of an elder. Go ahead and get you another diplo point. Ship consolidate. Uh, we can leave like two, three guys up here. Something like that. Unseize all this. You guys can go fight the regular rebels. And the harpies have been integrated. So I now share a border with the 200,000 strong horde. I'm sure that won't cause any problems in the future. They would never attack us or our allies. No way. No way. We're going to get rid of that for now. Also, I'm about to go bankrupt. Um, we're going to go ahead and debase our currency twice here. Or once. We're going to debase it once. Uh, then it'll automatically be paid off by our reforms and stuff. Okay, well, there we go. That takes care of all of those rebels. Very nice. You do love to see it. You do love to see it. All right, and banks in good health. After several tumultuous months, we have finally adjusted the accounts of our banks. We can now continue with our reforms. Good job. Okay, and new currency reform. So with our banks and economy recovering, we must create a new currency to curb our hyperinflation. We lose another 1,400 crowns, 150 admin power, but we lose 10 inflation. And we gain bank reforms, giving us 0.3 yearly inflation reduction, minus 8 interest per annum, and minus 50% reduced inflation cost. Which means we can take more loans, so we will do that. Yep, there we go. Take out max loans. Perfect. Uh, now we should go after... I think it's monopolies. Uh, the product monopolies of our merchant cartels allow leaders to push price to extortionate rates and must be dealt with. I agree. Uh, smothered by a group of conglomerate cartels which have cornered large sections of the market, it is now difficult for anyone to create a new business without encountering monolithic opposition. We must slay these commercial monsters, just as we have slain the physical ones. We have to do all of these, so we'll start with textile, I guess. Uh, government intervention. The talents of Algar is a negotiator and broker and generally is generally an asset in international negotiations, but sometimes an opportunity arises that can be used for our benefit our traders. A recent series of meetings with foreign emissaries has opened for an opportunity to give our domestic merchants leverage when exporting goods to foreign markets. Uh, sure, give us some mercantilism. Why not? Why not? Everybody loves a good bit of mercantilism, right? The strongest modifier in the game, clearly. Why else would it be in the game, I ask you? Also, we're only losing 88 crowns now. Oh, nice. We gained another 334. Beautiful. And another learnings of the Elder. Oh, boy. We're going to get absolutely decimated by uh, bad events now. Now they have a 666. Uh, okay, it seems that uh, Arg Ortston here has automatically dug down to a level 3 hold. Very good. It gives it a lot more bonuses. Do love to see that. We have more noble rebels here. Uh, but only on one province, so that's not too bad. Okay, we have Rayuli Separatists. It's fine. Uh, the textile industry. So with a huge hold on our textile industry, a single dwarf can effectively dictate the fashion and style of our fellow citizens. 
There'd be no problem in this if they did not use the influence of its company to determine the import price of cotton, silk, and other textile materials, in addition to flooding the market with mass-produced, low-quality goods. Dismantling this huge network of influence will cost us greatly, but will once more allow local craftsmen to flourish. Fashion for everyone! We lose a over a thousand crowns and 200 of each monarch points. And then we have to do the other ones. <laughs> uh, uh, let's go after the metal monopolies now. Now you see why I'm just taking loans. I'm debasing corruption whenever I can. Uh, it's literally worth it. It is li quite literally worth it to do. You gotta shut this down. Nope, just extend all these loans. All of them. Okay, this is a lot of clicking. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's over. Uh, I'll send these 22 out to deal with these 10k rebels. Make sure our vassal stays okay. Hey, Radio Wells around. How's it going, little buddy? Uh, well, you're alive at least. You're not very good, but you are alive. Wait a second. Oh, that's cringe. Radio Wells is, uh, is a kingdom. A monarchy. They're not a republic. Fake Radio Well. They have, they have to die for that one. You can't be having a Radio Well that's not a republic. That's like... Everything is bad with that. Everything's bad. I can't even bring to words how much that pains me to see. Oh, this is so much money. Mountain Hugger Separatists. I have rebels that want to rise up. Yeah, a little bit. Independence for Gore Baran. Well, we can't be having that. Let's make sure that we are ready for it. Uh, the Steel Giants. So metallurgy is one of the central pillars of our dwarven economy, and having it run by a small cabal of stubborn dwarves threatens to destroy all our livelihoods. Naturally, these Steel Giants have access to a multitude of arms and refuse to fall without a fight. Take them down, and their monopoly with them. So eight regiments rise up in revolt in the Jorkad Junction area. Okay. Uh, it's honestly not too bad. Just send these 51k out, and they will take care of them. Not a problem. And then let's go after the food monopolies. Now, we are about to take another loan, which means we're going to go bankrupt. Um, that is unacceptable, though. We can't go bankrupt yet. So let's go ahead and just... Get rid of all tax development in our country. All of it. Yes, it will hurt our economy. Blah, 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 blah. It's fine. We'll be fine. Even these seven crowns are worth it. It's worth it. I can just hold off this bankruptcy for a while. All right, go ahead and bring down the monopolies. Yeah, that interest is very bad. I sh probably should not have taken loans out um, before the war. A little late now, though. A little late now. Orcs flee from country. Good. Uh, can I lower autonomy anywhere? No. I cannot. That I cannot do. Go. Take care of them. Uh, give me a cheaper trade guy. That sounds great. Go ahead. Unteach this. Also sounds great. Uh, lose diplo power. Fine. How are you guys doing? Can I harsh treatment you? I'm going to. Let's lower our army maintenance. Hopefully this allows us to last a little bit longer. Just a wee bit longer. That's all that I am asking for, game. A wee bit. Also, I need to upgrade this fort. It's a little fort. Uh, yes, I mean... Yes, we have to do that. Well, I think we are going to go bankrupt early, which means all those buildings I built was for nothing, which is super unfortunate. Um, but that's okay. We'll survive, right? We can debase. How many times can I debase? Um, not much. I mean, yeah, but that doesn't get me to where I need to be. Uh, Siren Bar, will you give me money? How much money could you give me? Favors. 155, it's definitely going to be more than you. Yeah. Sure, that gives me 155. Oh, well. Guess we're going bankrupt. Alright. Well, rip all those buildings I built. But hey, we're making money now. <laughs> all done. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, that was the risk. That was the risk. Um... Shoot. And I can't... I can't fight them. Right now. Like, physically, I, I cannot fight them. So... We're just gonna have to hide in our mountains and... Pray that Gelcolis doesn't get fully annexed? 
Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. Like, I can't decline the call to arms because I have to keep the alliance. But I can't fight them. Oh, Jesus. This is bad. This is very bad. Usually the Horde Curse doesn't bother me, but I didn't I didn't really think about how bad this was going to be for us. Um, they even called in Elizna, dude. Who somehow has 50,000 troops. Are you kidding me? They have trash land. How in the world do they have 50,000 troops? Uh, well, I guess their little island is really good, so. Well, yeah, I'll join, but again, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing that I can do to help. My morale is going to be in the tank. It's going to be in the tank. Okay, it's actually not that bad. Hold on. Hold on a second. Our morale is actually still almost higher than everyone else's. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not supposed to be that way. <laughs> Hold on. Just one second here. Hold on. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we're going to be fighting a war in the middle of the Horde Curse. Not what you want to do. I repeat, not what you want to do. In fact, I would say this is the opposite of what you would ever want to do in the Horde Curse. You don't want to be at war during it, but we don't have a choice. So, yeah. We're just going to have to deal with it. Let him lock in, move into attack. They have a little bit more morale than we do, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to just gonna have to do it. This is gonna suck. I don't know how this fight's gonna go. I mean, I know it's mountains, but like, still, this is gonna hurt a lot. He's got way more discipline than we do. Well, I mean, as long as we fight him on the mountains, we'll be all right. As long as we fight him on the mountains. Unfortunately, Galcalis just doesn't have any forts except for this one. So all of this is going to be near impossible to defend. Which includes the war goal. Also, I'm throwing. Yeah, that was a throw right there. That was a that was a huge throw. King's old age. Yep, he's only expected to live to 200. We have 40 more years with him. We have no rebels that we have to deal with. We're going to have to fight for all of this back also, by the way. Uh, oh my god. My heir is trying to do a, a coup. Huh. Well, you spoiled little runt. Kill him. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? And now we have a 634, also named Balgar. The better Balgar. All right, the better Balgar. Move in, let's attack these rebels. We've got orcs over here we have to go deal with. Coronite Zealots in Abdel Tungur. That's cursed. Uh, when are we going to get the thing where I've taken care of the uh, Monopolies? Don't tell me it's broken. Please do not tell me it's broken. Helium, your little thing is not going to help me. Dude, we're going to have to do so many wars to reclaim all this land for Galkalis. So many wars. I'm just thinking about how miserable that's going to be right now. Like against Jad, you saw how long it took just to win a war for like three provinces? There's just too many. There's just too many. And we're just too bankrupt. That's just the way it is. Our bankrupt, if Gelcalus can hold out long enough though. Gelcalus can hold off long enough. We can get our, our abilities back here. It's possible that we can help. It's possible. We'll deal with them now. We are bleeding manpower, and uh, for some reason here, things don't seem to be working, because we should have already gotten an event that talked about the end of the uh, monopolies. Also, Jad is obliterating our, our forts. Despite the fact that we have 116 days, it still seems they're going very fast. Yeah, get the frickity frack out of here, man. Get the heck out. Well, whatever happens to him, happens to him. <laughs> I mean, damn. All right, well, at least we can end the, we can uh, reform the merchant cartels. Uh, another thousand crowns, more admin power, but we get more trade efficiency. 
Now let's go for workers, not slaves. Uh, dwarves must be paid for their work fairly. It's as simple as that. Uh, now our choice will have permanent consequences. I don't remember what each choice does. Um, let's go for working hours. One of them lowers production efficiency. And another one... I can't remember what the other one does. Lower something. Uh, yeah, give me the money. Need the monies. Okay, let's wipe these troops while we're here. Uh, well, if we're here, why don't we just barrage? Actually, no, I probably should have gone and contested the capital. Uh, we're out of manpower, I know. Am I overstacking? Yes, I am. Take on 21? Be nice to me? No, okay. Well, at least they wipe peace. Um... How I deal with these guys, though, I do not know. Do not know. Alright, so Bersarian Chess has 26 war score. Jad has 5. That is beautiful. You might be saying, why is that beautiful, Polymew? You are clearly losing this war. Are you insane? Are you on some weird levels of copium here? And the answer to that is perhaps. But, more importantly, that means that neither of them can peace out. Which means, I just wait. I wait. Oh, Soren Ringbeard here, 5442, will lead us to victory. It is inevitable. We are inevitable. Uh, let's not waste me power. <laughs> Move back. Actually, get over here if you can. Okay, send that three-star general in. Smash him to bits. That's right. Get off our forts. You don't belong on those. That's right. That's right. Don't get this on a 57. Okay, I mean... Fair enough. I cannot complain about that one. That is a very high odds for the AI to get it. In fact, that's essentially 100% for the AI to get it. Uh, go ahead and barrage. Don't assault, though. There's 820 of them, and our morale is very bad. So that would be a bad idea. Purchase an age ability? Uh, sure. Why not? Merchant defects. That's fine. Uh, what are these? More horde cursed rebels. Okay, go take them out. This should hold long enough. Nice, adequate labor. So with our hard work, we have managed to reach force, a deal with the cartels. Now hours spent working can no longer encroach on the lives and health of employees. Time for your life. Uh, we lose 10% goods produced modifier until the end of the game. I was hoping I got the other one, but that's all right. If I really cared that much, I probably would have just looked it up before, right? So you live with what you got. Live with what you got. The agenda of the diet. You want a workshop. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> I would like money, not just a workshop. Uh, how long till we are done being bankrupt? To 1591. All right, we're almost out of it. We've got exactly one year to go. And then our uh, combat prowess will return. We can move out at both of these people with uh, some fervor. Now we're going to make this a little bit longer of an episode today. Hopefully you're okay with that. Um, just want to get to the point where we finish um, this, the Horde Curse. It'd be kind of weird to end it in the middle of the Horde Curse. That would feel wrong. Okay, well, uh, Gelkalis, are you... Dude, come on. I mean, it's four provinces. It's fine. Bersard and Schiss is not a big deal. I can wipe the floor with Bersard and Schiss on my own. I don't need... Uh, I don't need to worry about that. It's this war I'm more worried about. Um, in fact, I can't get out there now, though. I can't reach the fort to uh, help him out. Okay, there we go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Everybody move out to here. Go, 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 go. We're not at Tech 15, are we? Oh, we're just below it. Uh, abolishing slave contracts. So throughout our nation, dwarves are forced into contracts that make them slaves in all but name, working to pay off debts placed upon them by their employers. We shall eliminate many of the loopholes that allow this practice to remain legal and end slavery for good. Slaves, no more. Game stability. Nice. And, you know, take more loans. All right. Uh, we can ban indentured worker contracts. So we'll lose 150 admin, 1,000 crowns. Uh, and we gain minus 5 national unrest, minus 50% stab cost modifier, and minus 50% harsh treatment cost. And finally, we need to do curtail the Horde Curse Barons. Now, you do have to do this one last. Okay, don't do this one early. 
or it will not go well for you. Just do this one last every time. The other order is just up to preference, though. Obviously, there's a more efficient way, but just do this one last. <laughs> I cannot make that clear enough. All right, curtail the Horde Curse. So in order to sustainably combat the Horde Curse, we must extend our reforms to the whole of nation, making sure that every dwarf holding power and every dwarf working for them is cured. It will not be easy, but the more limits we impose on our populace, the faster we will obtain the results. Uh, oh, this has changed. Oh, this has changed. Okay. Slaves no more. Limit business ownership. Oh, I didn't realize you have to click these all again. All right, well. Uh, launch it. We gained two prestige. Wow. We're about to go bankrupt again. Well, okay. Guess it can't get any worse than already being bankrupt. They took it. No, 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 no. Get there. Ah, I lost all my monarch points. Okay. You know what? All things being said here, that's not bad. They only took three provinces. Honestly, that could have been a much worse peace deal. Much, much worse. Worse. Uh, another thing that is bad, though. I can't get home. <laughs> my troops are stuck here. Can I cancel my access? No, because I'm in their borders. Well, that is a problem. That is a very big problem. Um, okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, great reform is a success. It's difficult to part a dwarf from a coin. Some say impossible. We, however, have managed to do the impossible and separated not only one dwarf from one coin, but many dwarfs from many coins. We have finally succeeded. We gain one stab, we gain 25 prestige, we gain minus three national unrest, and minus 30 minimum autonomy. And we have ended the Horde Curse. For years, the Horde Curse have assaulted the minds and hearts of dwarven people across our nation, but we have made great efforts to combat it. Now it seems that we are rid of the curse once and for all. We gain three stab, 25 prestige, and we gain the reformist until 1691, 100 gears, minus two national unrest, minus 10% dev cost, Plus 0.1 yearly inflation reduction and plus 50% innovativeness gain. We're still stuck in our allies' land, though. That's not good. And we have rebels that want to rise up. In a place that I really don't want them to rise up. Wait a second. And we have a civil war ticking. <laughs> oh, funny. Funny, funny, funny. Well, you know what? I think that's a, that's a good place to leave it here. Uh, we've got a massive uh, United Centaurs on our border. We have to fight Jad a bunch more. We got to go and take out Bersartanshis and give Gilkalus their land back. We got to figure out a way to get Sirenvar to take their land from these guys. Uh, I I don't hear. You know what? Actually, Sirenvar, hello. I have favors. Please break your alliance with Salamina. Yeah, do that. Maybe they'll flip. Maybe they'll flip hostile now. Uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see. I hope so. God, I hope so. Okay. Well, that's where we're gonna end it off for today. We've done it. We're through the horde curse. We're out the other side. We're making money again. Uh, we're bankrupt again. We don't have any loans, so that's good. Bankruptcy ends in '96. Then it's revenge time. Uh, I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.